today at Stamping Stew in Connecticut.blogspot.com, we're going to do a fun technique. Here are some samples. This one is all finished and layered up. We're using white pigment ink, any brand will do, and any brand of dye inks. This happens to be Adirondack. These two samples were done with the Adirondack inks, and these samples were done with the Distress inks. There's a little prep work, so you might not be able to see it in the video, but I've already stamped with white pigment ink using a couple of big background stamps. Okay, so now we're just going to add color on top of the dried pigment ink. We're just going to blend on the color. And it doesn't matter if it's neat or not because we're going to over stamp it. So now you can see how the ink, the white ink underneath, darkens with the dye ink. Now you can buff it a little if you like, but it's not really necessary. And then what we're going to do is we're going to over stamp it with some more white ink. I got this solid kind of floral image here by Magenta. So we're just going to put some white ink on and I'll just take a piece of scrap paper here Now it's going to dry a little lighter, but that's okay. Now each white pigment ink is going to react a little differently. That was a color box. This is a Memories. This is uh, some gears by Judikins. And then we can stop here and that just gives you the white ink with the background. Then we can take this other one and we can add some ink to this big map. That's what I'm just going to do all in the blue. Takes care of that. That was another Adirondack. Now we're going to stamp 
some more gears. I just like having some scrap paper so I don't have to clean off my craft mat. Now this one we're going to change up a little. We're going to take the same blue ink and we're going to add a little more dimension to this one. Now. As you can tell, this is a dark blue. So if you don't want it that dark, you can stamp off and then stamp. And it will give you a lighter impression. One more just because I like to do odd numbers. And that'll take care of that. Now you're going to let all this ink dry in this one. Here's a couple other ones that are dry. And then here are a couple more that I did this technique. And then you can do some some more layering and just add it to a note card. Like so. So that's our technique for today. This has been Sue in Stamping Sue in Connecticut.blogspot.com. Thank you for stopping by.